You know you want me in your space. Just go and rest. Please. Stop pretending. Enough of the pretense. Right, come to my bed. Come on. Oh yeah, wait. I'll oh, come, but wait. Wait. Oh God. But I'm not. Wait. See. I'm tricky. Hey, guys. Biggie's house has turned into a love nest. Romance up and down, back and forth. Every corner you turn, they are romancing. They are kissing and they are even doing. They are even doing, and some of them, Kayode has refused to show us. But one way or the other, we shall find out to know what these housemates are actually doing. Hello, guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Vicky, and please, if you're seeing my face for the very first time, hi, please consider to hit on the red subscribe button. Join my family, join my gang, so subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video oh, so guys what happened today i want to be gisting you guys like i've been bringing in hot gist for you guys and i'm i'm sure most of you have been appreciating it and being like okay i actually like the gist that she has been bringing so today i'm going to be talking about what actually happened between ozo and nengi last night yeah you heard right i don't know what actually happened there but we are going to talk about it we're going to be talking about even watoni and bright too we don't know what's up with Watoni and Bright too, but we look into their matter. We are also going to be talking about Jacon and Erica. So let me start first of all with Brighto and Watoni. Guys, what has been going on with Brighto and Watoni? I don't understand the newfound love, the newfound drama, the newfound chemistry between those two people because lately they have just been on each other's matter. Like they have just made up their mind that you see this matter of love, we must also write our own story. You see this big house, we no go live without us doing our own thing. You get so for some reason yesterday. Watoni actually spent the night on Brito's bed. Here, you heard me right. I posted a video this morning and I was telling you guys the things that actually happened about V, whatever. I just checked that video, you understand? And I also told you guys that Watoni was about to spend the night in on Lacon's bed. And truly, she actually did spend the night on Lacon's bed. Now, this morning, they actually woke up and they have been playing love back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, what do we call all this? I'm not even yeah. holding you. Okay. Then let me do what I want to do. No, don't do anything. Please. We pass you on and make it last now. What's the number? See, don't get me angry. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, you're tired of what you're not. Nice. Is this one love or they are just trying to tease us or they are trying to play strategy with us can you see the things in Watoni's eyes are you seeing the the, the love or whatever in Lord Bellish's eyes like I'm talking about Brito you get Brito is one person that actually do not like telling you how he actually feels he's trying to raise his guard so high like I don't know if he's like a guard or it's something that he does not have the balls to actually say it I don't know whatever it is at some point I know that he will vomit it he will not be able to hold it for so long but whatever it is, your Apropo manager, your Amebo madam, your gist partner here on YouTube will bring it to you as a day hot. Anyhow, anyway, moving on, guys. I want to talk also about Lucy and Praise. Guys, I have been reporting Lucy and Praise for the last two or three videos I have made on this channel. And it seems that the more I report them, the more they do it to prepare us or to make us make our eye blind for the love with their two. One try to show each other. What do you guys call this? You know what to do with the big fat boobs? You know what to do with the big fat boobs? Poke and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Poke and wiggle, wiggle. Poke and wiggle. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Poke and wiggle. 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 Praises and trying to trigger him for aggressive cuddly. Anyway, my hand, my leg, my body, none of my parts waiting for that particular game. But trust me, my eyes is the only thing that will not move away from this drama that they are trying to create, from this thing that they are trying to form. Because at this very point, man, your girl is not going to slack because 
I've got your back. And I, for some reason, I will not fall your hand. Even if I want to fall my hand with this Apoko and this Amebo, because of you guys, I will not fall your hand. My eyes are on them. Whatever Lucy wants to do with praise, if praise aggressively cuddle uh, Lucy eventually, your girl is going to bring it to you. All right, so last night, guys, Ozo and Nengi, they finished eating, and for some reason, they actually retired for bed so early. And then, you know, People have just been yabbing Ozo with the way Ozo has been has been following Nengi on his bomb bomb. Like Ozo has been literally trailing Nengi, not leaving Nengi for one second. And then they went to the bed to actually lie down. And for I don't understand the drama that just happened there. If they were cuddling or Ozo was just trying to touch Nengi's body to use and satisfy or pleasurize himself or give himself some pleasure. I want you guys to judge it for yourself. Now guys, please tell me what was Ozo doing? Was he using Nengi's body to give, him, give himself pleasure? Was he knocking the pillow while touching, Nengi, while touching Nengi's body up? What was he trying to do? Please, you guys should tell me because at this very point, I'm beginning to be confused with all these housemates and the drama they are bringing forth because, oh, your girl, eh? I used, I used to think I know how to, you know, I'm confused. Just leave it in the comment section what you think because I feel also really have a strong thing for Nengi and for some reason I think Nengi is also putting her guard up. Maybe trying to be careful of what she does on nat national TV knowing that one she has a boyfriend or something better might be waiting for her outside here and she does not want to jeopardize her image or she does not want to spoil her chances when she comes out here. I don't know whichever way it is, that whatever it is, whatever her reasons are for holding up that much, even seeing how others emotions is running wild it is her choice so i just hope this game plan actually works for her all right moving on guys we also think that lacon has moved on from erica well so he said that he has moved on that whatever he's doing for erica is just doing out of the place of friendship but v is not saying it like that yesterday erica has just been feeling so sick and lacon has been running helter skelter trying to fix her food trying to take care of her trying to be there for her and this morning he also made breakfast and he was sharing it with erica You know, V saw the whole thing and V was not having it. V was very angry. Like, she feels that Erica is trying to manipulate um, Lacon and she is not happy about it. She actually is not really interested in whatever friendship Lacon has with Erica. In fact, left for V alone, she has told Lacon to actually stop talking to Erica completely because at this very point, she feels like Erica is using um, Lacon. So, please. So please, I didn't tell you because I did not want to upset you even more. That was uh, when we were meeting, you know, Mabi? Yes. You should have told me now. Told you what? When we already established that, give yourself some space. What are, I see a rubbing cream on your face. This is the thing. Is it somebody has... Who hasn't told you? Who has not told you? Give yourself space. I don't know how you see it. Are you seeing it like Erica is using Lacon or V is just being an overprotective friend? Or how are you guys seeing it? Because at this very point, V has also also told Lacon that they do a lot of nasty things in his presence. Knowing how he feels towards her, she does not feel that Erica should allow that to happen. So this housemate has finally turned Biggie's house to a love nest. Finally turned Biggie's house, Big Brother Niger house to ultimate love. And for that reason, each corner of the house is being occupied by one 
couple or the other, one drama or the other, one thing or the other. But trust me, my Aproko eye is like that of an eagle. I will always be here to bring you guys the gist. I just hope you enjoyed this one that I have brought to you. Please, whatever your comments are about this whole relationship, entanglement situation sheet please leave it in the comment section i really love to hear from you give this video a thumbs up and please if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for are you not convinced like are you not feeling that this is where you should be please subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell and please 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 leave me a comment i will definitely see you guys in my next video bye guys